Hey guys, it's Sam for Ryzen Lab again, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the import dialog for multiple objects and what it means, specifically focusing on whether we want to merge UV sets by name or by index and what that actually means. So let's uh, pop on over to our desktop and uh, take a look. Okay, so here we are in Cinema 4D. Uh, don't worry if you're not a Cinema 4D user because this is applicable in any 3D program. So we've got a really simple scene here. We've just got this cube and we've got a sphere. And if we look up here, you can see each of these objects both have a UV tag. Now this is commonly known as a UV set in Ryzen UV. Uh, and if we flip over to the UV edit view and have a look at these, you can see the sphere has this UV map and the cube has this one. So let's uh, export these to an FBX and take a look at the import dialog. File, export, FBX. I'm just going to save this as test. And we're going to open up Ryzen UV. And import this. So there's our FBX. Now, the setting that I wanted to talk about in this import dialog is this top one here, merge by UV set names. It can either be on or off. So if it's on, it will merge UV sets by name. If it's off, it will merge by index. And in fact, if you hover over it, you'll get this little help bubble. And it basically says as much. It says if it's off, it'll do it by index. If it's on, it'll merge by name. So what does this actually really mean? Let's, uh, let's merge by names first and load this. So here we are, you can see that if we look at our UV sets, we've got one UV set called UVW. And you can see we've got both of our original UV tags, our UV sets have been merged into this single UV set. Well, let's do it the other way then. Let's uh, load with UVs. Test. And we'll turn this off this time. And we're getting exactly the same result. We've got a UV set called UVW. And our original sets, our original tags, have been merged into this single UV set. So that really doesn't help us in understanding what is actually happening behind the scenes. So let's jump back to Cinema 4D for a second and uh, go through this. When you choose the option in Ryzen UV of merging by name, Ryzen UV will look at the names of UV sets, and if they share a name, they get merged together. So let's have a look at the sets here. Okay, let's click on the first one. Well, this first one is called UVW. And this second one is called UVW. So under that circumstance, Ryzen UV will merge these two sets together. Okay, what about merging by index? What that actually means is we're talking about the order of UV sets on an object. Take this sphere, for example. The first UV tag, there's only one. Its index position is actually zero. Indexes always start from zero and go up from there. And the cube has a UV tag, only one, and that is also index position zero. So because both these objects have UV maps in the same index position, they will be merged as well. So the result is the same, whether you merge by name or merge by index. So let's go back to Ryzen UV. So that begs the question, if merging by name or merging by index is irrelevant because it results in the same thing, why am I even seeing this option in this dialogue? And this is something that we've been talking about recently. So in future updates of Ryzen UV, if this is missing when you uh, do this kind of import for this kind of scenario, that'll be the reason why. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, let's have a look at a scenario where this will have an impact and will be relevant. So let's head on over back to Cinema 4D. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename these so they don't share a name. So on this sphere, I'm going to call this, let's call this sphere UV1. And this other tag on the cube, we're going to call cube UV1. So now these uh, objects have UV tags or UV sets with unique names. Let's uh, shoot these back out to an FBX. I'm going to cancel this and we're going to reload that FBX. 
Okay, so now we've got a slightly different dialogue. And this is going to be changing in the future too because of the language used in it. Uh, most of you guys actually perceive this as a error of some kind and it's actually not. It's providing information about what's going to happen. It's really saying that your objects have unique names and, th and this is how Ryzen UV will handle them. We don't really need to worry about this too much. We just need to concentrate on what I explained before about merging by name or merging by index. Let's start a merge by name. Okay, so now we have two UV sets. We have cube UV1 and sphere UV1. And that's because we chose to merge by name. And by doing that, Ryzen UV evaluates the UV set names. And if they're unique, Ryzen UV does nothing. And if they're the same, they're merged. So I'm going to actually change my UV view to flats. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the cubes UV set and change this to flats. And if we focus in, you can see that when we're in this UV set, we've got our cube with its cuts and its UVs laid out. The sphere is nowhere to be seen because it's not been flattened. It has no cuts and it's not flat. Let's switch over to the sphere. And now the inverse is true. You can see the cuts on the sphere and that's laid out in the UV space. And our cube is probably massive somewhere. And we can tell it's not been flattened because if we go to flats for this UV set, it disappears. So that should be pretty clear what's happening uh, in regards to merging by name. So let's go import again. And this time we're going to merge by index by turning this off. So let's load. Okay, so now we've got one UV set and it's called cube UV1. So this might actually be a little bit confusing because it's based on index. So Ryzen UV has said, okay, let's have a look at these objects. There's a UV set in index position zero on the cube, and there's also one on the sphere as well. So let's merge these together. You're probably wondering, well, if that's the case, why is this called cube UV1? And that is because it just happens to be alphabetical. If we go back to Cinema 4D, you can see that I purposely ordered the cube after the sphere. The Ryzen UV took these two sets and it chose the one that was alphabetically first. And if we go back to Ryzen UV, we can see that both of those UV sets that were originally separate for each of these objects have indeed been merged based on index. All right, let's uh, flip back to Cinema 4D and let's make this even more complex. So we've got Sphere UV1 on the sphere. I'm going to duplicate this UV tag, UV set, and I'm going to call this Sphere UV2 because it's the sphere object's second UV. Now, this is quite common. Uh, you may have a UV set that is for texturing, and then you'll have a second one with no overlaps um, used for light baking or something like that in a, in a game engine. So it's quite common to have two UVs. And we're going to do the same thing for the cube as well. So we'll take this cube UV1, drag it out, and call it cube UV2. So now we have four UV sets. So let's grab these objects and export again. Export, FBX, overwrite our test FBX. Jump back into Ryzen UV. Load our test object. And we're going to merge by name. Merge by UV set name. And here you'll see that we've retained all four of our UV sets. Um, cube UV1, we've already got it. Let's go into flats and focus. It's just got the cube in it. Uh, the cube UV2 should be exactly the same because I cloned the uh, first UV set in Cinema 4D. So if I go to that, yes, it is indeed the same. If I go to the sphere, we still have this. And sphere UV2 should be exactly the same. Yes, it is. Okay, so you can see because all the names were unique, it doesn't matter that we had multiple UV sets on each object because the names of the sets were unique they are retained. We're going to load again. But this time we're going to turn this off so it's merging by index. So let's have a look at what happens when there's multiple UV sets on 
on a sing on objects. Okay, so now we've got cube UV1 and cube UV2. And again, it's exactly what happened before. We go back to Cinema 4D. Ryzen UV looks at this sphere and says, oh, there's something, it's got a UV in index position zero, and so is the cube. So we merge those together, and it's called it cube UV1 because it's alphabetical. And the same thing has happened with the second UV for both objects. Ryzen UV has said there is a UV set in index position one for this object and the same with the cube object and it's merged these two together so these two are getting merged and these two are getting merged and that results in what we're seeing here okay guys that's pretty much wraps things up i just wanted to make this a little bit more understandable and like i said changes will be made regarding this coming in the future so watch this space all right i'll see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click on the bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out some of the videos on screen now and you can also visit us on our website, across social media and our Discord server. Cheers guys, bye!